The Whittier Tunnel was conceived as a project to improve access to the Prince William Sound. What we did is converted a railway tunnel into a multi-use tunnel to allow for rail and highway traffic. The facility is now approaching the 20-year mark. We're trying to increase the usage that we can get out of the tunnel and one of the projects that came up was the lighting project. Uh, it's a, uh, a tunnel that provides access to cars and trains and as such there's also people that can stop uh, a vehicle in the middle of the tunnel at any time and so there's a lot of safety concerns so we wanted to make sure that we had the perfect lighting solution. This particular project, the switching to the acuity lights and the uh, upgraded lighting controls, we're realizing a 60% decrease in electricity cost. We're able to use the savings from the lighting to not only pay for lighting upgrades, but also to upgrade the entire uh, tunnel control system um, and just do general improvements around the tunnel that you typically need capital funding for. JCI and their uh, engineering team uh, brought to us Hall of Fame and the acuity uh, controls for operating our tunnel and that was based on their experience in dealing with tunnels. We reached out to Acuity because in the past we've um, partnered with them on um, several of the tunnels that we did out on the, Hawaii, um, on the island of Oahu. So during that process um, they help us actually design the fixtures or the tunnels according to the IESRP22 compliance. Just one of the challenges that overall with designing tunnels is that, you know, it's very different from your typical just lighting job, whether you're doing a roadway lights or something on the interior, because you're dealing with the transition from day to night um, into um, a dark tunnel. So in turn here with extremes as high as 214 mile per hour winds, um, dr you know, driving clouds in, you know, it's with the control system we can easily transition from uh, transition the lights, um, dim them up, down accordingly. When the trains are going through, we don't need lights on the tunnel. So then we can save power by not having the lights on when the train goes through, gives them the tunnel as it would be naturally. When I have vehicle traffic though, more light the better, as long as everyone can see going through. When they're driving, if anything happens, if there's a crash, if there's a fire, if they strike something, they hit something in the tunnel, if I can see it better, it's better. Just a few days ago, there was a storm that came through and that they're able to survive in this environment. LEDs, number one, love the cold, but you also have that instant on. So if there's any failures, you know, whether it's a power failure um, or just in general, it's just there's no warm up time. The picture just is an instant on. The acuity control lights are definitely an increase in value and quality from what I've seen compared to what we had before. And we're real happy with the controls that we have over the lights. We're happy with the lighting levels. Our customers are pleased because one of the things that the lights give them is a better visual inside the tunnel. They're seeing things that they didn't see before. So the increase in safety, uh, it's, it's hard to put a value on that.